to 5 Talk Street. I'm Chris Gutierrez. The city of Arlington is celebrating its 31st citywide Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. celebration over four days, January 17th through the 20th. And here to tell us all about the exciting events taking place is Lisa Thompson. Lisa is the TRIO Pre-College Program Senior Director at UT Arlington, plus this year's Arlington MLK Celebration Chair and board president. Uh, this is a, a an event that is so popular, attracting thousands of people each year. Tell us about this year's theme. We're excited about this year's theme, uh, diversity in action. And uh, we in Arlington are very diverse. Mm -hmm. um, all the entities that make up our celebration committee uh, are diverse. Uh, we want to, to show that diversity and be, be able to allow the youth in our community and all the citizens in Arlington mm -hmm. and surrounding communities to come in and share diversity with us uh, while we're taking making it happen so in action basically we, we love that and, and I, I know in years past you've attracted 5,000 people yes. I think at, at a time uh, what does that diversity in action mean to you that means that we come together and as far as the MLK celebration is concerned you know Dr. King's message of uh, bringing people together no matter who you are where you mm -hmm. what your walk in life is and working together in our community uh, listening to our children sing and enjoy uh, their music uh, the scholarships and uh, that we offer our high school students as well as our community or excuse me our community college mm -hmm. and college students um, coming to learn more about Dr. King uh, and and meeting different individuals from our community that you may not have otherwise had an opportunity to meet. We mentioned that it's uh, it goes on for several days. Tell our viewers more about what they should expect okay. this year at the event. Sure. On Friday, uh, traditionally we have our banquet, and mm -hmm. our banquet uh, will be held at the University of Texas Arlington. Uh, it will be at six o'clock in the Blue Bonnet Ballroom. Uh, our speaker is Yusef Salam. Uh, and then we have awards, community awards, we have um, uh, music, we'll have speakers from all of our entities. Uh, it's going to be a great day. Then on Saturday morning is our uh, step show in which we have elementary, junior high, and high school students who are competing mm -hmm. uh, uh, through various uh, modes of movement, which we call stepping. Yeah. And then on uh, that evening we have our uh, um, it's our spoken word, but it's been kind of transitioned from uh, music and, and, and word, uh, poetry. So uh, it's music and poetry. The next day is our uh, ecumenical service, and that's another um, for faith-based or non-faith-based mm -hmm. uh, individuals to come and uh, hear a message about um, that on that Sunday about uh, diversity in action. The next day is our community service day, and that's our traditional day of uh, doing community because it's a day off for many of us. So sure. we make it a day on by providing opportunities in our community for individuals to, to be helpful to other organizations, to help in the homes that some of our uh, residents may have need for. Mm -hmm. um, Mission Arlington is our uh, supporter of that, so we have a number of people that will be volunteering at Mission Arlington. And then that night is our, our end of the uh, celebration uh, event. We'll be having about, well, more than 500 uh, youth singing uh, from the wow. Arlington Independent School District, and their voices are angelic, and it's just wonderful to be able to hear them sing about the dream of Dr. King. Sure, I love the community awards aspect of it because the, you at home, you can have a say in, in who wins those community awards. And from what I understand, are there three categories? There Is are that three, right? three categories. There's education, government, and community. And so individuals in those three areas are nominated. And we, um, this weekend, we'll, we'll have the unveiling of those uh, individuals who uh, have won those awards. And these are our unsung uh, individuals who aren't necessarily um, receiving awards all the time. So we want to recognize those individuals in our community who are doing great things uh, that Dr. King uh, would be proud of uh, if uh, uh, he heard about it. So. I love it. Yeah. Lisa, thank you for being sure. here. We wish yeah. you nothing but the best again thank this you. year. Uh, don't forget, if you would like to join NBC5 in celebrating Dr. King's birthday, visit ArlingtonMLK.com for the City of Arlington's full schedule of events. Stay with us because we'll be right back with more of Five Pond Street right after this.